How about the next one? So again, this is rotating with an angular velocity of four theta to the one half. Uh, omega equals four theta to the one half, uh, where theta is in radians. <clears throat> Determine the time it takes to achieve an angular velocity of 150. Determine the time it takes to achieve an angular velocity of 150. Uh, and then also, let's see, when t is equal to 0, theta is equal to 1. All right, this is a little bit tricky, and I'm even trying to remember this going through my head, a little confused. So angular velocity, I'm given angular velocity, and then I want to find the time to achieve an angular velocity. So right now, I'm not positive, is this a derivative or an integral? It's a little bit weird. I mean, I'm given an equation for angular velocity. I'm asked to find the time to achieve an angular velocity. Uh, so let me not overthink this. I mean, if I'm given an equation for angular velocity, and I want to know the time it takes to get for that to equal zero. So I want to know when does this equal, so no, 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 when does this equal 150, right? That's what it's asking. Here's an equation. When does this equation equal 150? Okay, well, what happens if I set it to 150? So if my angular velocity is four theta to the one half. Okay, so right now, I don't, I'm not sure about how to find the time that it, when it equals 150, but I could find the theta you know, I can find the theta that makes this reach 150. So let's, let's do that, and then we'll figure out what we need to do next. So, so there, we, you know, th this is equal to 150, so what theta, so I can find a theta of 1406, theta of 1406 radians. All right, so let me reword the problem. Let me reword the problem. Here's an equation for velocity. At what time does the theta equal 1406? What time does its angular displacement get to 1406? So it's almost like here's an equation for velocity, and that theta is really kind of position, right? That theta is kind of position. So if I'm given an equation for velocity, and I want to know, or I'm given something about position, that's kind of an integral. That's kind of, of an integral. So I'm um, given an equation for velocity is four theta to the one half. And I want to know the time it takes for me to rotate to 1406 radians. Um, okay, so Let's just uh, maybe trial and error a little bit. Um, I, I'm thinking of an integral, and that's my only integral from, that I have from velocity. If I've got velocity. If it was in terms of time, then I would integrate it. Uh, but my velocity is not in terms of time. It's in terms of theta. I can't, I can't integrate it with respect to t, but what can I do I can divide this to the other side of the equation here. This is clearing up, right? I can divide this to the other side of the equation because then I could integrate it with respect to theta. And then on the right-hand side of my equation, I've got dt, I've got the time, okay? So this, this was one of those problems that we'd kind of done before with if velocity was in terms of s, if velocity was in terms of s, we could bring it to the other side. So here, angular velocities in terms of theta, we need to bring it to the other side. So that was, a, that was interesting. That was interesting. All right, so let's do this. So integral of one over omega equals integral of dt. So the integral of, what, what would one over four theta to the one half? I, I would call that one fourth theta to the negative one half. I think I could do that integral. Uh, and then this is going to be t, and technically from t initial to t final, but you know, it starts at, we're, we're always starting at a time of zero. 
the right hand side of my equation is going to be t the left hand side of my equation is going to be what let's see what do i do i add one to the exponent and divide it by the new exponent but be careful theta is going from it doesn't start at zero see this last it says theta starts at one so it's going from one to 1406 equals t it's going from 1 to 1406 equals t so plug in 1406 and then subtract what happens when you plug in 1 and then you we get the time 18.25 seconds that was a tough one that was a tough one uh, just kind of looked at that but for class, but it was kind of interesting, right? Like my first instinct, first of all, it is not a constant acceleration. It didn't say constant acceleration. And, and when, when it's in terms of theta, theta to the one half, uh, you know, it's not constant acceleration. So I'm trying to think derivative or integral. Um, and it wasn't clear to me to begin with, but what did I do? I, I, I said, well, okay, maybe I can't get my final answer just yet. But what can I do? You know, what, what, what could I do? I, I did that set it equal to 150 to find theta, and then I just reworded the problem. Um, and it's, again, it never said anything about acceleration, but it was talking about position theta. It was talking about position theta. So that, that told me I need an integral. Which integral? This is the only one. I need to divide it over. Okay, that's interesting.